You're about to watch the Polly Detmerts channel. Enjoy. Hey everybody, Polly here. And in this video, I'm going to do a first cook on that slice box pizza oven from aspectliving.com. That's right, aspectliving.com. Uh, what a pleasure to use this pizza oven. Max capacity is 12 inches. The great folks of Aspect Living sent me this pizza oven. They shipped it out of Florida. Love Florida. And uh, the thing, first cook, first cook. Wasn't my pizza making skills or was it the oven? Well, you know what? It takes two to tangle. So let's watch this one. Okay, so now we're gonna start prepping the oven to make a pizza. I'm gonna turn them both up to max. And I'm gonna place this door right there. So here's my dough, and I'm gonna stretch this here in a minute while I'm watching the pizza oven. And its temperature is rising. Now what they say to do is preheat for 25 minutes, but I just did a burn off, so I probably don't have to wait that long. And they say, after 20 minutes, periodically check temperature of baking stone using a digital thermometer. And preheating complete when the stone reaches 675. Well, I know a little bit about making pizza. I'm, I don't think I really need to wait till 675, but if this is your first time ever using a pizza oven, I would highly recommend. So yeah, I'm gonna continue getting ready to make this pizza, put it together while this thing continues to heat up. You see the bottom light went out. That means the heating element has reached its max temperature. So I'm not gonna check it. I trust it. I'm gonna turn this to about 60% and leave that one up to 100%. And then we're gonna make this pizza. Actually, I'm gonna wait till I'm just about done building this pizza and then I'll turn that down. All right, this is about good right here. Sweep this away. And just kind of knock all that flour off. I'm gonna dump some of this Meyer sauce. Great stuff, love it. Right around. This is just gonna be a basic plain Jane pizza, but it is 100% homemade except for the toppings. When you're making pizza, you know, make sure you don't get that countertop wet or get sauce on it like I did right there. Don't do that. Um, I just took it off of my arm because I don't wanna stick it in my mouth. Although this whole thing's going in my mouth, probably. And again, this isn't about the pizza, it's about the oven. The slice box! Cool oven, I love it already. I haven't even, I haven't even put this in there yet. But I'm gonna put some extra pepperoni in there for Tony. Tony eats pizza on YouTube. Yeah, Tony, the slice box pizza oven, very cool. And it, get, it gets hot and beautiful machine. This one's gonna stay in the kitchen. I already know I'm gonna like it. It's, I can tell just by the way it's made, it's good. All right, I'm gonna use the pizza peel that came with the oven. How cool is that? And I just put a little bit on there, okay? There we go, we got it. I don't want all that on there because it will burn up all over the place. <laughs> Let's get it in the oven as soon as I get all this flour off my fingers. It slides, nice, huh? 
I'm pull that off. Now, we're looking at the oven. The top heating element is maxed out, and it's already up to temperature. I'm going to turn this down to about 60. Now the top one stays on warp speed. I'm going to set this somewhere without melting anything. Mainly my fingers. All right, here we go. First cook in the slice box. Sweet, look at that. I'm gonna put the door on. Something I need to think about is where I'm gonna put this door when I'm taking it off. I'll get the hang of it. Let's take a peek. Oh yeah, it's looking good in there. You give it another minute and then we'll give it a little spin. Beautiful looking oven. It does radiate some heat. What do you expect? It's a pizza oven. It's not a Betty Crocker oven, okay? Betty Crocker Easy Bake Oven, it is not. This is very nice. Shall we take a look at it? Yes. <laughs> and they say you don't need to leave that door on there all the time, but. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, look how, how much that plumped up. Give her a spin like that. Put her back in. Let her do the hokey pokey and, and move all about. The dough is gonna be so good. Two and a half day fermentation. Beautiful. Thermometer in the back is about 500. Go back further, it's about, still about five, 550 or so. Uh, looking beautiful. Another minute, this piece is gonna be done. I can smell. Let's take a look. See what's charring. It rose so much, I think it's burned up on the top. Oh, I sure did. Look at the crust. Beautiful. That that piece is done. <laughs> I think it's done. Looks pretty done to me. Let's give it a little more. A little more cowbell. I think I did that when I uh, put the peel under there. Kind of lifted it up. My fault. Very nice. Yeah, I'll say it's done. I'm gonna turn this off. And we're gonna have some pizza. Yep, I did it again. You gotta be careful lifting it or taking it out of there that you don't lift it because you're gonna get it caught up on that protective cover, screen, whatever. Pizza of Champions. Looking good. Oh my goodness. I think slice box is gonna make me a champion. This looks amazing. Perfect Amundo. Beautiful. Let's go for it. I hope I can keep this memory in my head for the rest of my life. Perfect texture, perfect pizza. Slice box. Amazing. Slice box. Great, great pizza. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. 
why would I ever want to go to Buddy's Pizza? This is just a plain Jane pizza and it is amazing. Amazing. I'm not kidding. You cannot cook a pizza any better than what I just did here on the slice box. First time using this pizza oven. Amazing. No learning curve for me. This is total greatness. I follow instructions too. I did follow them actually in the end. So, yeah. Congrats to Slicebox and the great people at AspectLiving.com. Thank you, Aspect Living. This pizza oven is great, and you're going to see it a lot here on the Pauly Demers channel. Until next time, I gotta go eat pizza.